We've got some food today. So I woke up at my lightest and tightest yesterday at 210.3. And then today, 210.3 again. Um, so Ben's ordered me. <laughs> He's giving me a little bit more food. So first meal today was 100 grams um, of cream of rice. And then second meal was 100 grams of rice. 100 grams of rice post-workout. Normally we're at like 70 grams per meal. Um, and then a few extras like... You know, I've got some dates going in there, um, some pineapple, a little bit of extra fats bumped up, um, just like olive oil and stuff. And yeah, it's mad, like just like two carb meals because I was running so flat. Like you can see things just like popping in the mirror already, which is really cool. Like new detail coming through in the delts, in the side of the arm and like pecs coming back and striations and i actually like see for the first time ever which is super fucking cool like lat striations coming through in my back when i like row into my back job i've seen them before like they've been there a little bit but not like crazy now they're coming in like quite deep now not like crazy crazy like fucking dorian fucking dry but the the, the limes and lats are coming it's coming man which is super cool so i'm we're gonna get some training done we get some chest and delts so i'm probably just gonna like just smash the training out because i need to get back for a posing call um on the posing academy daniel coffee and you guys might know him he's a really good posing coach uh, over in the us he's coming on to the posing academy um, and we're doing like a live posing routine thing so he's gonna come on he's gonna do his posing routine live for us and then i'm gonna like tweak it and see if we can give him any suggestions to make it better um and we're doing that like for everyone everyone can join in and um, join in the call and just watch along so that's gonna be pretty cool i'm excited to do that and then um, tomorrow, I'm probably going to roll this video into tomorrow. And I want to get stuck into my posing routine. I just got my music back because um, I had to cut it a little bit. And now I wanna, I'm want i going to book up the studio tomorrow in the gym and spend a few hours or a couple hours in the gym, too much energy i got. And just like work the posing routine and just make sure it's absolutely on point. I really want this posing routine to be... I want to do a different posing routine every single show. And I mean, it's, that's a big ask. I've got three shows coming up in a short period of time. But I think it could be done. I think it could be done. I want to show like three different styles. So this first routine is going to be pretty cool. Um, I'm very, yeah, very excited for it. Uh, so time to get this posing routine under wraps. Whenever I say po posing, I say posing, not posing, posing, posing routine. <laughs> time to get this one done, man. So I'm definitely going to be doing a different type of track this year. I'm doing, um, it's called Carmina Butura O Fortuna. <laughs> Something like that. Some like that. I basically had um, one of my guys sort of cut the middle out of the song. So that it's just like the start and the end. So the song's not too long. It's like a minute 45. That's always something for you guys to keep in mind. Like if you're an amateur and you only get 60 seconds to perform your routine, then you want to make sure that the routine has like a solid start and a solid end. What does that look like? I mean, it depends on the song. I would probably just say that you want to make sure that when you start the song, you're not starting the song at a point that doesn't like make sense. Like sometimes people will start the song at like, I don't know, halfway through a certain sort of like verse of lyrics or whatever. Like make sure that you start it at a point that makes sense. And then it has some sort of like progression into the music. So you start maybe slow and you build up to like 
the ultimate peak <laughs> at 60 seconds. Um, and, don't, and don't run it too slow for too long. So if you do have a song that kind of like builds up, make sure that that only lasts for about like 20 to 30 seconds max, because then you want at least 30 seconds to display your physique when the song's like big um, and really just like show yourself. Like I've watched routine sometimes on the amateur stage before where it's, it took like 50 seconds to like get a drop on the song. And by that point, like a lot of the audience is kind of just falling asleep. So you want to, you, I know it's like nice, the idea of having that nice, slow, progressive pose in June, but when you only get 60 seconds, you do want to show the best of you. So I would definitely make sure that you get to the point quite quick, if that makes sense. Obviously, when you turn pro, I've got the luxury of being able to have as much time as I want, but I'm still only doing about, it's like a minute 45, this song. Um, so it's, it's really cool. It kind of starts big straight away, it kind of catches your attention, and then it mellows off a little bit and then it goes big and hard for like, fucking hell. Don't, just don't. <laughs> it goes epic and loud <laughs> for the rest of the tune. Um, and I'm just gonna hit like big power poses and stuff like that. So I actually came here with Hannah like yesterday and we now down like most of it. Generally for when I'm like doing my routines for the most part, I'll. Obviously I'll pick the song first, always pick the song first, and then I'll start putting things together in my head a little bit, and then maybe I'll have like an inspirational moment at some point, like during prep. And when that happens, I've just like, gotta get up and pose. So I'll get up, pose, kind of see what happens, and then I'll just like bank that, come back to it later, and then when I eventually get the chance to get in the studio for an hour like I have today and I did yesterday, I'll kind of work what I had in my head and then build on it, just play the song, freestyle some stuff, you know, bounce ideas off of Sammy or Han, send it to Ben the other day and then just see what they think. And I mean, ultimately it's me like putting it together, but I like to get what other people's opinions, like what other people's opinions are. Fuck me, man. I'm feeling it, bruh. <laughs> I, feel, I feel not too bad today, it's definitely, I think everything that like heavy legs and that just like oh, feeling on prep sort of hit the last couple of days, but it's already starting to lift, we're, uh, we're backed off cardio now. But anyway, yeah, let's get this posing routine on the way, man. I was gonna kind of start the routine. I wanted it to like the start of the routine. I can't, sh well, I've already said the song, so you guys can look the song up, but I'm not gonna play it to the music. I'm just gonna run the routine. But I'm just gonna show you the start of it. So I wanted it to be like a really clean, powerful start where I'm just like holding poses and the focus is on the poses, not too much on the movement. I mean, there is movement and some cool transitions, but the focus is, you know, kind of just on the poses themselves. So how I'm gonna start is I'm gonna hit that Michelangelo pose that I invented a long time ago now. Then we're going to spin it here. <sighs> Love this pose. Boom. And we're going to come up into this shot here. I don't even know what it's called. <sighs> but I really like that. I want to show the abs a lot in this routine. I feel like vacuums again, just like absolute overkill. So when you hit this shot here, and then there's a point in the song where there's a big like boom. So I'm gonna throw my hands down and go into like a Francis Benfato front archer. So when he's here, probably look at this bicep and then, and then pull up on that hand. Now, as I pull up on the hand, I'm kind of like clawing it up. As I pull up on it, the archer comes up. And then just show the audience that. I keep a, like a flex down on the lats for this shot. You can kind of see that there. And it really like makes the front archer pop. That's all I'm showing you guys. <laughs> That's all for now, man. Now I've actually got to practice. So yeah, leave me to it and I'll show you in six days.
four mils down, one to go. Hope you guys enjoyed that little, uh, you know, a few little posing clips there. I know it's not much, but I don't want to um, give away the surprise, man. Well, it's not really a surprise. I do want to document these things with you guys, but at the same time, I want to keep a little, little something, something for the imagination. If you want to guys, if you want to guys, if you guys want to watch the full routine, then you have to buy the live stream, man. I think um, it's Euro Muscle something. It's basically the Euro Muscle show sponsored by ESN. Um, and it is six days from now. So we are six days away. So the show is this Sunday. Today's Monday. Um, and the show is Sunday. So we've got six days. Right now, we are literally, th this is basically the plan um, that I spoke to Ben with about the other day. So today is just baseline. So I'm resting today, I'm not training today. And then the rest of the week in terms of training is gonna be breaking things up a little bit more. So tomorrow is just delts. And then Wednesday will be arms, whereas normally it's like delts and arms together, but I'm splitting that up. And then on Thursday, I'm probably just gonna do a little chest and back session, push some blood around. And then Friday morning, we will be probably starting to carb up a little bit, but not too much, because then I'm flying at 11 o'clock on the Friday, land at two o'clock in Amsterdam. Um, obviously same day and then we'll start carving up from there. So pretty much on baseline food until Friday afternoon. And then we're gonna start loading Friday afternoon all the way through Saturday and then wh whatever we need on Sunday to, to bring the right look, you know? So in, t in terms of, I know you guys love macros and stuff like that. I don't really do macros. I don't really like know anything. I just know the food that I eat. That's kind of how I work with my own coaching clients is, it's like, this is the amount of food that's doing the job and we like taper up or down depending on what the goal is. But I do know, I roughly worked it out that my carbs is at about 320 on a training day right now. So he's actually pulled them up a bit. They were somewhere around the low 200s. And then he said that we were starting to get a little bit too flat and we were sort of body weight, he was lingering, lingering around the 210 mark. So we basically just pulled the food up to it's about 300 and something carbs now. So it's, it's actually not low at all, it's sweet. And that's just to make sure that we're not filling up from such a low sort of base point. Like if you imagine this is your tank and this is 100%, this is zero. When we're going for show day, we're trying to see if we can hit like 120% fullness for that one moment on stage. Now, if you're filling up from only 20 or 30% or zero, then it's very, very hard to fill that tank up, okay? It's very, very hard to get like fully glycogen loaded and get the muscle hard and how we need it looking for show days. So the idea is that the baseline is a little bit higher so that we might be only filling the tank up from like 50 or 60% and then we can reach that like peak fullness, hopefully. That's the idea anyway. In terms of water, basically just monitoring everything right now. I'm bang on six liters per day bang on 12 grams of um, sea salt per day. And then that will just be tapered. I don't, I don't actually know what he's gonna do, so I'll just have to let you guys know how, how that works. But I think what he's gonna be doing is tapering water back a little bit from like maybe the Thursday. So the water might come down to five and then four and then three liters or something like that, but I'm not sure. And I'm not sure on sodium either. I'm just gonna have to keep you guys in the loop on, on that one. And then that's pretty much it. And then we just push food up and, but I'll, I'll let you know, like when we get closer to the show and we're like three days out, I'm gonna film everything. So I'll let you guys know what we're gonna do because I don't really know what's gonna happen, man. First time peaking with, well, it's the first time throughout the whole prep, doing the whole prep with Ben. So we'll see how things go. It's first time for him, first, first time um, for me with some of the things that he wants to try. Um, we're gonna push the food a lot higher than what I'm used to. So I'm excited to see whether that's a positive or a negative thing. I think it's gonna be positive. I don't think I've ever been truly full, like full as a house on stage. I've never walked on stage and felt like boom. I felt like boom for a minute, but not like the whole time I was on stage, the fullness like always drops off after a while. So I'm excited to see what happens. But that's it, six days out. So. 
that's pretty much all I've got for you guys today. All right, guys, if you guys want any more help with your posing as well, if you sort of see me talk about it throughout the last, videos, last few videos, um, we have the Golden Boy Posing Academy. So basically, it's just a platform where you can come online. Um, it's an app saved on your phone, and you can literally just jump on. You can get video recorded feedback, like personally from me. It's like posing social media. You upload your posing uh, pics and vids, and then I'll hit you back with video recorded feedback. You get access to like four live posing calls per week as well, group posing calls, and you get access to like tons of tutorials. It's pretty sick. It's basically what I would have wanted when I was just first coming into the game. Um, a place that's you know cheap, affordable for you guys, but you can get all of the sort of necessary you know materials and resources you need to help improve your posing and place higher on stage, and that's it. You know, so yeah, that's it. Other than me, peace out. Speak soon.